chronologically, this was the last of the mom and pop stores that we became familiar with. And this one was kind of a mystery. It's at 7322 Calumet Avenue. It re until recently, it was Porky's Pizza. But back in the summer and fall of 1963, this was a mom and pop toy store. And you walked in the door here, the counter was right here, and it was run by this kind of mysterious older woman. She looked like, you know, like your typical grandma, and she wore like these sleeveless, light house dresses kind of thing, and she di didn't speak, she only talked a word or two. And I remember her, her complexion, she had like this pigmentation thing. Uh, you know, it was just kind of all bizarre walking into this place, because she, as I say, she didn't speak much. And they had some models and things, but it looked to me like they had little kitties walking around. It looked to me almost as if they had bought out a warehouse, a toy warehouse or something in Chicago or whatever, and just jammed it all in here because there was stuff was just piled in no particular order. We never looked at the stuff back here. We were actually coming here because uh, we were collecting these little tiny plastic Roman figures, Roman warriors with chariots and things. They used to have them on a carousel here that summer. I lived in Hessville. I'd get on my old bike with the big balloon tires, drive down here on the hottest afternoons to buy those little Romans, which were oddly enough manufactured by a company called Giant. The last I remember being in this building as a toy store was in November of that year in 1963. It seemed like it was time to get excited about those Aurora night models again, which I've mentioned several times. And so this is where we bought our third set of Aurora night models right here that fall. My brother and I had been reading Sir Walter Scott's Ivanhoe that summer and fall. And I said, gotta have those night models. And sure enough, she had all four of them, not the gold knight on the horse. But it was during that summer when I was coming down here for the, Rome, the little Roman figures, I found out that Aurora models had in fact, in the late 50s, made some pr pretty spectacular things that we had never seen. They had made a Viking model, they had made two gladiator models, Roman gladiators, and a crusader knight, all of these things which I didn't see. So I became very frustrated about this, and I came into this store, and I remember asking the old lady if she had ever seen them, and do you have them? And she would just answer in her you know, very, very timid way, no, no. And I wrote to Aurora Models, the great Aurora Plastics Company in West Hempstead, New York. I wrote to them that summer and said, please, can you tell me anything about the availability of the Viking and the Gladiators and whatnot? And they actually wrote me back. They took my original letter on the old line notebook paper. They took a red pen and just wrote discontinued across my letter, stuck it in an envelope and mailed it back to me. I was crestfallen. I was just, I mean, and that's when I came in here saying to the lady, are you sure you don't have these models here anywhere in your store? Nope. Well, ultimately, I found the Viking model from a collector about 10 years ago. And ironically, the two gladiators were reissued by Aurora that very next year in 1964. So what goes around comes around, whatever that might mean. Thank you for being a part of this little sentimental journey. It's important to me to document this sort of thing because, well, times are definitely changing. All of these structures that we've looked at, uh, as far as I'm concerned, their glory days are long past. Most of them are now have become other businesses, and time just continues to move on and society continues to change. As I said, I have absolutely no regrets that I'm the age I'm at. In fact, I feel very privileged to have been born and experienced that fabulous decade of the late 50s, early 60s. People often ask me how I remember all these specific dates, when in fact I can't remember what I did literally two or three days ago. I think it's just because when you have a very imaginative, impressionable mind, as I had, your memory is just like wet cement. And when something happens, you, it just is imprinted there forever. And I'm very glad that I have these memories and am able to draw back so clearly on them. And it means a lot to me to be able to, to bring this uh, material to you. So in any case, once again, my name is Larry Rapchak, and I thank you very much for joining us on this little sentimental journey.